Has your mom ever told you, eat all your vegetables or you won't grow up to be strong and healthy? Or maybe your gym teacher tells you that you need to exercise to have strong bones and muscles. Those things will make your body strong, but what can make you strong enough to say no to temptation or yes when asked to do something you should do, but you don't want to do? Listen to our verse and see if you can figure out how you can have that kind of strength. Ephesians 6.10 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 6.10 the book of Ephesians is in the New Testament. Paul wrote this as a letter to the Christians in the city of Ephesus. People in the city of Ephesus were called Ephesians. Even though these people lived about 2,000 years ago, they still had the same problems you and I have today. They needed the strength to say no to temptation or yes to what is right. God told Paul to write these words to them so that they could know how to be strong. Since these are God's words, are they true for us too? Yes. Let's say the verse together. Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord. Paul was writing to those who had received Jesus as Savior. Those who have received Jesus as Savior have the strength to live a life that pleases God. You don't get the strength on your own, but from God. And in the strength of his might. This strength comes from God, who is all-powerful. There is only one God. But while God is one, he is also three persons. He is our three-in-one God. Say that with me, three in one God. The Holy Spirit is one of the three persons of our three in one God. When you believe on Jesus, God the Holy Spirit is always with you and he will give you the power to do what is right. Let's say the verse together again. Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 6, 10. If you have believed on the Lord Jesus, you might think that your life should be perfect with no problems. The truth is that we live in a world that is full of problems because people continue to want to do things their own way instead of God's good way. When hard times come, don't let fear or worry take over in your heart and mind. You will have peace when you remember that your Heavenly Father promises to be with you and that He is mighty enough to help you be strong. The Lord will help you trust His promises. When things in your life are uncertain, you can depend on God's faithfulness. Word up! God is faithful. God's promises are for those who have trusted on Jesus as their Savior. The good news that Paul told people about this is the same good news for you today. Admit that you can do nothing to deserve God's gift of salvation and choose to trust what Jesus has done by receiving him as your Savior today. Let's say the verse together one more time, and then we're going to play a game. You ready? Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 6, 10. We are going to play a game called verse motions. Each time we say the verse, I'm going to do a motion and you'll do what I do. Are you ready? Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 6, 10. Good job. Are you ready to say it again? Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 6, 10. That was terrific. Let's say it once more. 
Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 6, 10. Great job, everybody. Remember to practice saying the verse this week.